a new M3, but the kicker was no six-cylinder engine now, but a brand new four-liter V8, and that has really ruffled the Porsche feathers. They feel this car is not within the spirit of the regulations. Whatever the case may be, Frederick Eckblom used that power effectively yesterday to claim the pole position. All may not be lost for Porsche, however. When you have big power, that uses fuel, and here at Donington Park with a two-hour, 45-minute race, Porsche can get by with just one stop. BMW, unless they get a lot of caution period, will definitely need two, and that's going to cost them about 40 to 50 seconds getting in and out of the pits. Talked about the BMW and JJ Leto starting last in the field. We're right on board with him as he tries to cut through traffic and catch his teammate in the Porsches for the GT Class win. And there is the star right there. That is the number 42 car that started at the back of the pack. And he's literally flying through the pack right now. He's just having great fun, dicing, cutting, flying around the track. He's able to use all of the horsepower that this new controversial four liter motor is putting out. And the, the Porsche guys are very upset about this engine. We're gonna get a look here, just what he's seeing. Now there's, that's the Porsche following. This is an incredibly fast car. Watch this coming off the court. Little smoke right there. Hopefully that ends in engine smoke, maybe just brake smoke. He's exiting down, now he's heading down towards uh, Melbourne to Melbourne here, I believe. Yep. You're gonna see him go over the crest of a little hill. Now he's steeply downhill. See the Porsche close up under braking, turning in. Watch the G-force on the bottom. You can see over one and the acceleration, 80, 90, 100. Very quick car. There's J. Joe at work. Oh, oh trouble. Painos. That it is, looks like he's only hit a sign, though. That's the customer, Painos. Yeah. He has I, had a spin. I think the car is perfect. He might just have come into contact with one of the braking markers and just shredded it. That's Jake Hochran. Here's your GT Class leader. This is the team car, the BMW M3. That's Frederick Eklund on board. First in GT, 14th overall, as you see there. Now, just to explain more about why the Porsche drivers are so upset about this car, they're saying that you can't buy an M3 with a V8, which is correct. Nor can you buy any BMW with this particular V8. This is a custom-built, full-race motor. It's a beautiful piece of work. BMW's new 4-litre V8 motor, not a production engine, a purebred racing engine, caused problems to JJ Leto and Jörg Müller's car in qualifying when they couldn't start it officially. And now in the race, the 43 sister car has struck a misfiring problem. It came in with only five cylinders of the eight running cleanly, but they don't think it's a metal problem. They think it's an electricity problem. They're changing spark plugs, spark plug leads, spark boxes. In fact, anything that'll give you a nasty shock in the hope that they will get the car back in. And the clue is that A, Schnitzer never gives up, and B, Frederick Eckblom hasn't even got out of the cockpit. Well, it could be worse. We're in England, and you know how English electrics are, Mark. I, I'm just not going there. I haven't uh -huh. had any problem with it so far. <laughs> uh, this is his teammate, J.J. Leto, who has also had problems. We saw Leto charging up through the field after the engine problem that kept him from qualifying started last, had moved up in 12 laps to within three seconds of the Porsche that is now leading the class, but then had to come down pit road. Apparently it passed under yellow flag, which is a, a caution flag, really. You want to take extra caution around the yellow flag. He apparently did the pass. We did not see it, but uh, the officials wisely pulled him in. And you saw him throw up his hands in frustration. Now Leto is back on track, but he has fallen. The driver change looks like it's going routine. Fuel is going in. Once that is complete, we're going to see a tire change as well. So Martin Haven, more news. Dramatic scenes in the BMW pit. The 42 car came in with Jörg Müller at the wheel. They've completed a regular stop, but it's had damage on the right-hand side and now keeps bursting into flames around the exhaust exit port. Now the team are standing in place with fire extinguishers. The bizarre thing is that Jörg hasn't even turned the engine over at this stage. He expects a bit of fl flames back when he does start it up, but it doesn't seem to be related to the engine, so they have got a slightly more major problem than they thought they had when the car was half a lap away from the pits. Um, Martin, actually that is totally related to the engine. The flames were coming out of the exhaust pipe. In fact, we can watch right now. There is something has broken in the fuel system and instead of dumping small amounts of fuel into the cylinder, they must be getting giant amounts. Fuel injection? Fuel injection. I, I would say a pump is broken. So problems for the BMWs. The other car, the team car, was out earlier in the race in the garage a couple of times with uh, electrical system problems. And now this one for 
Jordan Muller with the fuel system going awry. Part of the growing pains of developing a wow. new power plant that this team is struggling through. BMW flamethrower. Very, very dangerous. So it does take an added element of skill for these drivers. Sasha Mawson is on board that uh, portion that is leading the GT class. Lucas Moore started the machine right behind them. The somewhat beaten and battered number 42 BMW yeah. that uh, had That's its problems on pit road with the fuel system we saw earlier. Now, here we have BMW playing a game with Porsche. I'll guarantee that his team manager says go out, sit on his tail, try to rattle him, try and get him to make a mistake. Don't worry about passing. Just, just get there and... Look, move to the left, move to the right, occupy the mirror. Smart move by the Porsche. Now, the BMW is only probably, what, 30 laps behind him? Exactly. And I, I, with Alex Job's experience here, he would probably radio out and say, let him go. Don't take a chance. Well, let's see exactly what he is behind him here. Looking down for where your puller is. He's six laps behind him. That so. poor little car is really battered. You see both flares are missing down the right-hand side from the contact with one of the banks here. Still spinning a lot. Of, you know, maybe what it was was one of the injectors might have been stuck while the car was stopped in the pits. Allowed a cylinder to fill up with a lot of fuel, and as he turned it over, it couldn't possibly ignite it, but would push it down the exhaust pipe, and that's where it would ignite with the big flames. We've talked a lot about the BMW GT car today.